Hey everyone, it's Autumn. Today I'm going to review the new Laura Mercier palette that's come out for the holidays. I purchased this at Sephora for $48 and here are all the shades. I'll just kind of go through and I will tell you the shade names um, and I'll just go across the top and I'll try to be pretty quick about it. Um, here, actually I'll go this way. This one, which would actually be the top, this is Sparkling Dew, Guava, African Violet, Plum Smoke, Cure Royale, Violet Ink, Vanilla Nuts, Primrose, Fresco, Bamboo, Truffle, and Espresso Bean. Okay, I hope you were able to see all of those, but I will swatch them and show you. So um, anyway, I have used this for a couple of days now, and um, I've actually got them on my eyes today. And um, I swatched them when I hauled it but I wanted to give it a couple of days to give on a full on review because a lot of them swatch nice um, but I noticed that when I swatched the matte ones um, they seemed kind of streaky so I wanted to see how they would apply with the brush um, and I will be doing swatches in this and I do want to let you know though go ahead um, the, the ones that did kind of swatch streaky when applied with the brush they're wonderful I've got them on today okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the first three which are sparkling dew guava an African Violet. So on my hand I've got Sparkling Dew, Guava, and African Violet. As you can see African Violet um, to me seems to be the softest out of these and it appears like it, it it's kind of chunky as far as the glitter is concerned but once it's on it's no longer chunky. You may have a little bit of fallout when you initially go to apply it but that sweeps right away and then once it's on there there's no additional fallout after the initial application. So here they are on my hand. Okay, the next three shades I am going to do for you are Plum Smoke, Cure Royale, and Violet Ink. Did I say Violet Ink? Violet Ink, in case I said the word violent. So here we have Plum Smoke, Cure Royale, and Violet Ink. All three of these, I believe, um, no, they're not. Cure Royale is not matte, it's more of a satin. But Plum Smoke and Violet Ink are matte shades. And as you can see, they are really, really nice. The three shades that I'm going to show you are Vanilla Nuts, Primrose, and Fresco. Here. So here they are on my fingers. Vanilla Nuts, Primrose, and Fresco. And then on my hand... Fresco is a really good shade to wear on um, in the crease and all over the lid kind of as a natural shadow by itself or it's also a great blending shade as well. The last three shades I'm going to show you are Bamboo, Truffle, and Espresso Bean. So here they are on the fingers. Bamboo, which is gorgeous, Truffle, and Espresso Bean. I'll blend them a little bit on my hand and here they are on my hand so all of these apply really well they're really pigmented they're very soft shadows um, they, they blend really well with each other so I just thought it would be good although I did swatch them and swatches were pretty good when I hold it I thought it would be good to show each one individually and kind of talk a little bit about it now that I've used them um, because a lot of times shadows sometimes that swatch really well don't prefer, perform well on the eyes. It seems like they are so soft they just blend away to nothing. And then sometimes they don't swatch well and then they perform awesome on the eyes. Um, these all swatch pretty well and they all perform really great on the eyes. The only shades I have yet to use on my eyes um, in the two days of trying it out, I have not used Guava, Primrose, or African Violet. Um, all of the other shades I have used... To create looks in the past couple of days since buying the palette. Um, it's a really nice palette. There's a magnetic closure here. Um, I think this would be great for travel. It's a padded so I think it would be pretty secure. I don't think it would open up inside of a makeup bag. Um, it's got a decent sized mirror. Sorry, but you can see it's got a decent sized mirror. I've got fingerprints all over it from trying to cover it. And I just think this is a great palette. Um, you may notice that the bottom row of shades, or if you're going this way, the bottom row of shades are more of your brownie colors. 
and then the top row are more pinky purple colors. Um, and they're kind of sectioned off in them that way. And then if you go from this way, you've got your lighter tones, your medium tones, and your darker tones. All four of these actually work really great as crease colors, or I've also used them as liners. These I would say are more um, lid shades, and then here you have your highlight shades. I mean, you can put shape shadows anywhere, you can get creative, but um, they're grouped really nicely. There's a really nice mixture of shimmers and mattes, and I think this is a really great palette to have. Um, I think this is a, is a complete palette. I don't really think you would have to add anything to it. Um, I mean, I didn't even use an eyeliner when creating this look. I actually used today um, Violet Ink and Espresso Bean as my eyeliners. And um, so if you're curious, the look I have today, I have quite a few of these on. I have Sparkling Dew in the inner corner. I have Fresco as a blending shade. I have Bamboo on the lid along with a little bit of Plum Smoke. And then I have... Um, Espresso Bean and as a liner and Violet Ink kind of as a crease and then kind of gone down under as a liner. So I used quite a bit of the shades just to try to get a variety on my eyes and see how well they all interacted and blended with each other and I think they did really well. Um, if you have any questions or comments about this palette, go ahead and leave them below and I hope this was really helpful to you. Thank you for watching. Bye!